You know, this year for uh, for the baseball program was a little bit of a, uh, I'd say we stepped back a minute, you know, and it was uh, a little bit frustrating to be perfectly honest with you. We, we you know, it was our first losing season in, in a couple years now and, um, you know, coming off the high of, uh, of winning the tournament championship a year ago, um, I think we had high expectations. Um, I felt like we did lose some key pieces, obviously. Um, with uh, Silva and McDermott and Richards and Anderson, you know some big some big players in our uh, in our you know, experience last year, but we felt like we had guys to step in and 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 you know make up for for those losses. And unfortunately, it just didn't quite work out the way we had planned. We got off on, to a little bit of a tough start with California, a couple California trips, um, played them tough. And then we had a little bit of COVID set in, you know, at the beginning of the year, and that always, you know, creates some challenges for everybody. Um, and then uh, got into conference play and, and did okay. I think we, we kind of hung in there a little bit in the beginning and then got to the bulk of our schedule and the meet, you know, with some tough teams and, and we kind of got, uh, got, got it handed to us a little bit. And it was very humbling for all of us and uh, a little bit frustrating for sure. Um, so. Overall, you know, it was uh, not what we were hoping for, but you know, as we'll talk about here in a minute, you know, we finished on a on a high note, so that was that was kind of cool. You know, I don't think there's re uh, really a beneficial schedule. You're going to have to go through those teams uh, no matter what, whether it's early or late. Um, I think how it times up with where your team's at, with the momentum of the season, maybe some injuries that you're you're dealing with. You know, those have effect. Um, and we did start to get a little bit of the injury bug creeping up on us, um, you know, as we got into the middle of our schedule. And, you know, so we maybe weren't full strength uh, for a couple of those series. And, and um, but it was good to sc scratch out one game, you know, from each of those top two teams um, on the final day. You know, you don't want to wait till the end and kind of just you know, sneak one, one win, you would like to compete a little bit more um, throughout the weekend. And so we had some trouble uh, early on in, the, in, in those series. Um, and then get, gained a little bit of momentum, you know, had a decent series at Adams. And uh, um, Regis was a tough one. They, they uh, kind of surprised uh, everybody in the league, I think, with, uh, with some of their uh, youth and energy and, and, you know, and the way they played at their ballpark. Um, Pueblo, we hung in there with, you know, throughout, and were able to get the season series from them. Um, so that was that was good. You know, it's that's a big rivalry on our schedule, so we like to play well against them. Um, but yeah, you know, you you face tough teams in the middle. You you better come ready, and we weren't quite ready for that part of our schedule. Absolutely, our young guys did a nice job for us. You know, um, like I mentioned, you felt like we felt like we had some experience to come in and replace some of our our guys we lost, and those guys didn't quite you know, do that well. But at the same time, we did have some youth that got opportunity. Um, guys like Kit Wigginton, you know, established themselves at a pretty early part of the season. Uh, Caleb Stubbings had a really nice year. Um, he established himself. And then guys like Macaulay Sayre and Evan Langston, you know, kind of came in a little bit later on in the schedule and started to uh, gain a little bit of momentum and, and do pretty well. So, um, you know, that's kind of the way sports work. You know, when, when, when one man struggles or woman, there's somebody there that's uh, that's got an opportunity, and what do they do with that opportunity? So we do look forward to our you know our our next year with with a couple bright spots out of this out of this year that say hey these guys have stepped up. We've got some some young leaders on the team, some young players that are ready to uh, to come in and 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 give us that momentum and you know swing us back in the right direction um, like we have been in the last couple of years. You know, the message going into that tournament, and, and as you said, we, we snuck in with the sixth seed, so we didn't come roaring into the, to the tournament, but um, everybody that was in that huddle with, in our team knows what happened a year ago. We come out of that, that, uh, that tournament with the, with the trophy, and we had a lot of returning guys, and, and maybe whether they were contributing players or not, they were there and they, they were a part of it. And, the message to them was, this is a championship group. We have, we have the experience of winning a championship that nobody else does other than the one team that we beat. And they know what happened last year as well. So I think the message right away was, just like you said, it's, it's, we're, uh, everybody's 0-0. Let's go there and, and let's compete right from pitch number one and grind it out throughout the weekend. And we know how to win there. 
Um, nobody else does other than than Colorado Mesa, you know, with with what's happened in our league over the last several years. So um, I think we just tried to jolt a little bit of reminder that, hey, we are the RMAC champions. Let's go in there with that mentality. And uh, it doesn't matter what's happened up to this point. Um, a lot of you guys are new to this. A lot of you guys have been through this and know what to do. So let's go, let's go throw our hats out there as the defending champions and make somebody take it from us. And we competed our butts off. You know, I was very proud of the way the guys stuck in there and, and grinded it out with some really good teams. We, you know, we had Mesa on the ropes in the eighth inning, um, opening night of that tournament in their ballpark in the home crowd in the first night of the championship you know we we came out and had a good lead on them going into the latter part of that game and with an opportunity to win and that was that was huge for uh, our confidence our our momentum didn't quite work out the way we'd hoped lost a tough one um, but then rolled that momentum right into the next day won a game now all of a sudden you know you win a game you go on and you know there's some some confidence that goes with that played a Pueblo team that we had just beaten a couple times the previous week so we were confident against them you know we're able to take them and we hung in there with Metro for the first few innings and uh, they just you know they had a really strong offensive club and got it rolling against us on Saturday and and we had a hard time stopping them so it's kind of the way the tournament went but it was it was great for our young guys to feel that feel that excitement you know of playing championship quality baseball in a championship atmosphere you know under the lights against good teams and that was that was that was fun and so it really really gave everybody a boost guys that weren't contributors in the tournament just had a blast they had felt the excitement they said some of them said they'd never been a part of something like that that little mini run that we made and it just really makes what we do all year long really you know really worth it that you have some exciting baseball at the end and i just had this conversation with a with a recruit yesterday if you're playing meaningful games at the end of your season that's all you can ask for and it really really showed a little something about our character um, at the end of to be able to finish out the season like that next year you know it's going to be about uh kind of if if if, if i can throw it back to our our early you know early years is developing leaders you know we had some really strong leadership um, that we'd grown our program on um, and then we took a step back in that area this year so i think the message to the returners, who are the leaders in this group? And we want you to step up and, and be leaders amongst um, yourselves and your teammates. And then this next group that we're gonna go out and we're gonna chase some recruits right now, actually, I'm, you know, got a couple guys we're signing today and, and hitting the recruiting trail pretty hard over the next few weeks. And the message to those guys is who in this group is leaders, are leaders that want to come in and, and be a part of something special that we've been growing here for a few years now um, and get us back to that championship form that we're, we're, we're right on the edge of. So um, it's going to be about a little bit of more turnover. We've got uh, we've lost a few guys, a few more than kind of we anticipated. So that's that's part of college athletics right now. And we're going to go out and restock and 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 rebuild and and kind of build that confidence from within. Yeah, it's been a fun six years, you know. And and you know, I think each of the five or six, you know, was a steady improvement. And then this year was a bit of a hiccup, a little speed bump in the road, and it kind of makes you reevaluate and uh, understand what you did right over those first five years, what you maybe could could still improve upon. And uh, we're looking forward to to next year and what uh, what this returning class brings and then what the next class is going to bring us as well.